Yo, what is up guys, Guido here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace or upgrade your headlight bulbs on a 2012 Chevy Impala, but this video will work with the 2006 all the way to 2013 um, Impalas as they all are pretty much the same in those years. And I'm gonna be upgrading to some LED bulbs. These are 6,500K LED bulbs. Um, but this video will also just show you taking out the bulb and putting a new one in. So just in case you want to replace it or upgrade it um, to LEDs. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on your low beam, your high beam. And I already made a video on how to do your turn signal, but I'll just throw that in as a freebie as I'm upgrading all of these to LED. So let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing to do is to pop your hood. There's a little black lever on the left down below underneath the dash. You just pull and your hood will come up. And then once the hood comes up and you look in, as you can see, there's a little white tab here and a little seven millimeter bolt that's right here. You just pull up on the white tab just like that and that will simply come off just like this. And then over here, like I said, the seven millimeter bolt, you get your ratchet or your socket and undo this. I already have it loose just for the video purposes. So see, it'll just pry out just like this. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but it'll just come out just like that. And then mine comes straight out because I already have it unplugged. But right here on that pigtail, right here, that plugs into there. You do not have to remove this if you don't want to, but I'm just going to do it. It'll be easier. Um, but yeah, that pretty much just slides straight out of there. It's really simple. There's no clips or anything. It just comes straight out. So now once your headlight comes out or you just have it still in the car, you just come over here. There's a little dust cover for the high beam and low beam. You just twist that. To loosen it just like that and once it gets to a certain point it'll come off just like that as you can see there's some silicone gasket and stuff on there um so you want to make sure just to put it back on with all that stuff on there so once that cap comes off and just twists off as you can see somebody was already in here before and put a lot of grease around that which is good so it's watertight um, which I recommend you guys do the same. You can just use some silicone grease around there when you go and reinstall everything so water doesn't get in there. But as you see, that is the high beam bulb that's in there. You just press down on that clip. It'll come off just like that. And then your bulb just will untwist out of here. Just like that. And come straight out just like that. And then you just go and drop your new bulb in. and then tighten it down so it clicks back into place. Just like that. And as you can see, I have the ball back in there completely connected. It's just kind of hard with this gasket stuff they put on. It makes kind of a little bit of a mess. But anyways, once that's all done, you just go and put your cover back in. This is pretty essential because um, it'll keep the water out. And just like that, it goes in and then you just twist it to shut it. Just like that. It's the same process with this one as well. Just twist it and then it will come up just like that. And then the same thing, just pull down on the pigtail connector and pull the bulb out. So like I said, guys, just pull down on the pigtail connector, just like that. and then just twist the bulb out, just like that. And then once you connect your pigtail, just like the other one, slide the light in, get it all lined up in there, and then just twist it to lock it. Then the same thing, your dust cover just goes back on. Just fit it back in where it needs to line up with the pins and then just twist it back on. And then your turn signal bulb right here, it's really easy comes out just like that your bulb comes out and then just go and pull it straight out of its little housing that it's in right there and then just pop in your new bulb here fit it in just like that and just twist it to lock it just like that and then it's simple just push your headlight back into its area make sure you connect the pigtail um, where that light actually goes and connects to if you 
disconnected it like I did and give it a nice firm push in. And as you can see, it's fully installed. You just gotta put your plastic trim tab back in there and the seven millimeter bolt. And then also the other side is the obviously the exact same as this side. So just go and repeat if you're um, swapping all of them out. And just like that, your LEDs are installed. Look how much better that looks compared to the regular halogens. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and peace!